In today's report, we'll look at the customer churn file of a telecommunications company. Of course, we'll need to figure out what is customer churn first. Customer churn is also known as customer attrition. In its most basic form, it is when a customer chooses to stop using your products or services. Every business deals with churn, and more often than not, it's much easier and less costly to keep an existing customer than it is to gain a new one. It is also much easier to save a customer before they leave than it is to convince a customer to come back. Customer loyalty is something all brands strive for. Understanding and preventing churn is critical to achieving this. Let's have a look at what we have in our report. I categorize the data in the Excel file into three categories, which are the services, payment options, and the customers. Clicking the services button will transfer you to the page allotted for the nine services offered by the company, which are device protection, internet service, multiple lines, online backup, online security, phone service, streaming movies, streaming TV, and tech support. We can see that phone service has the highest subscription among all the services that comprises of 22% of the total services subscriptions and 6% of the phone service subscribers churned. The same goes with the internet service that also had 6% churn rate among 19% subscribers, almost a third of it. Um, this could be related to a lot of factors such as the quality of the internet connection or network signal which could have been caused by many technical aspects like the bandwidth, number of cell towers, or the coverage, so on and so forth. We could grasp a solid reason if we have a firm knowledge about the telecom itself, but for now, we could assume that it is because of the quality of the connection. Over here in the churn rate by total services subscribed, we can see that the most attrition, let's just click over by the yes, the most attrition occurs within 4, 5, and 6 services, and the least were in the single subscription and 9 subscriptions. Surprisingly, it could mean a lot of um, reasons, but perhaps having a single subscription is less hassle to deal with. Yet, in contrary, having all the services will make you feel your every penny's worth. Going back, let us check out our payment options, which displays the monthly charges, average monthly charges, churn rate by contract, payment method, payment mode, and paperless billing. We can see that almost half of the customers preferred month-to-month -month contract compared to the two-year and one-year contract. We can see that there's a 23% attrition rate out of the 55% monthly contract users. We can see that um, according to the payment method, electronic check has contributed a lot, which means 60% attributed to the 23% um, attrition rate of the monthly payers. This may be because they have stumbled upon a few problems in paying through electronic check. And then we also can see that on the average, a customer pays 64.76 um, pesos, let's say. While we can see that over here in the customer payment method, um, 56% um, preferred manual payment compared to the automatic ones. Now, let us take a look at the billing method. 59% of the customers preferred paperless billing, which means that they'll receive their statement of account or bill through emails, text, or any form that does not involve paper. Among these paper, paperless billers, 
20% has churned compared to the 7% of the customers who still receives the printed copies of their bill. Again, it may suggest that paperless billing costs inconvenience to the customers, while compared to receiving a printed copy of their bill that at least could remind them of their dues or payments. Let us now know our customers by clicking to the page allotted for customer attributes. We can see that we have a total of 7,043 customers and 27% of them have churned, which means that 1,802 consumers have stopped using our services. When we multiply this number to our average monthly charge of 64.76, um, let's say this time it is in dollars. If we multiply this number to the number of customers we've lost, which is 1,902, we'll get 123,173.52 dollars. Uh, there you can see that the company loses that amount of money due to customer attrition. Clearly, addressing this issue of customer attrition may decrease the chances of losing profit or revenue and of course, customers. Consider our VIP customers who pay a higher rate than non-VIP consumers. We can see the difference between customer attrition of VIP customers with 19% compared to the 8% of non-VIP consumers. It could be due, but not limited to, the cost of these services. They may not have realized the value of their money for the VIP customers that have turned. So the company may want to revisit their pricing of the services or if the price is already at its fixed point, they may start a campaign or a promotion that highlights the value added by their services to enlighten the customers of the amount that they are paying for. Down here, we can see the churn rate by senior citizens, dependents, and partners. We have a total of 16% senior citizens, 30% dependents, and 48% partners of the total um, count of our customers. As we can see, from all of the indicators of churn, 22% of the customers without dependence has the highest value of them all. It could be because these customers deemed halting their subscription more convenient since there were no other individuals involved in deciding whether to stop their subscription or not. Because if you have dependents, of course you'll have to consider their uh, opinion about it. Lastly, we can see over here that the tenure influences the customer's attrition. The longer the tenure of the customer, the lower the chances of their attrition. The customers with longer tenure may have been satisfied with the services of the company. If we look at the 3-month tenure, uh, the percentage for no is 1.51, while for yes is 1.33. The percentage of no is higher than yes, and from then on, it started to, to remain the same way. Let us check for month number 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so on and so forth. Um, we can clearly see on the line chart the, that the green line for no is higher than then the blue line is higher than the blue line for yes. The point is, if the company could make the customer stay for at least 3 months, it may significantly reduce the chance of churn. Now we know that the longevity of subscriptions could 
decrease the likelihood of churn, we may utilize this information to devise a strategy to encourage them to stay longer or for at least 3 months according to what we saw on the line chart. Again, the key ideas to mitigate customer churn is to improve after-purchase services, upgrade facilities, and also to enhance the communication between the company and the customers as well. This is Shella Nicola Tienza. Thank you for listening.